Hi YouTube! Welcome back to my YouTube channel! If you are new here, welcome! My name is Jasmine Jones and on this channel, I talk about all things teeth care, braces care, with a little sprinkle of lifestyle. If you're interested, feel free to subscribe because I promise you will love it here. I see y'all watching these videos. I see y'all watching but not subscribing. Come on guys, subscribe, be nice, share the love. Share the love. I'll wait. I will wait for you to click that button. Thank you, I appreciate it. So in today's video, as you can see by the title, we are talking all things elastics, AKA rubber bands. So if you're not familiar with what rubber bands are, if you're planning on getting braces and you think you might have to have rubber bands, stay tuned because this video is going to be full of helpful information and tips for you. So let's get right into this video. We're gonna be talking about elastics. I have to wear these. Where do I even begin with these little bad boys? I'm just gonna tell you guys what they are, what they're used for, how to use them, um, different tips and tricks and all of that. Let's just start with the packaging of elastics. This is what it looks like. I don't know if you guys can see it, I hope you can. So this is a little package that they give you for elastics. In Canada, we name our elastics after animals, and that basically is the different categories of tightness and strength of your elastic. So I have tortoise. Tortoise in size 4.8 millimeters. I didn't start off with tortoise elastics. I started off with cheetah. I believe cheetah, the elastic was smaller, so it was tighter, but they're both really tight. So let's open her up. I got a fresh pack for you guys. So once you open it, it's like a little Ziploc. This is what you will see inside. Just a bunch of rubber bands as expected. And this is what they look like. It's just a little circular rubber band. And they're super tiny, as you can see, and stretchy. Okay, so what elastics do and what they are used for, it's actually a few things. It's not just one specific thing. So for me personally, my elastics were used to close the gaps that I had in my mouth. I had four gaps that I needed elastics to close. Some people have different issues with their mouth that they need elastics for. Elastics can be used to align your jaw to make sure that your bite is like in perfect, how do you say it? In perfect alignment and in, in perfect correlation to the top and bottom teeth so that you don't have too much of an overbite or too much of an underbite. The elastics will kind of just pull that all together. Overall, elastics are used to correct and realign your jaw, align your teeth, close gaps, all of that fun stuff. For me, I got my elastics on, I think within the third month of having my braces, I got my elastics put on. I thought that I was gonna have elastics first thing. I was excited for elastics, I don't know why. I was just so excited because I'm like, yo, this is gonna make my gaps close. Like elastics are the answer to closing my gaps and I wanted my gaps closed so desperately. So I'm like, yo, give me the elastics, give me the elastics. And they're like, yeah, no, not yet, honey. Like, calm down but you don't get elastics yet. I was so disappointed. I literally asked. <laughs> After my first braces tightening, I literally asked my orthodontist. I'm like, do I get elastics? When are we getting elastics? He's like, yeah, not yet. My gaps are pretty much closed. It's crazy how these bad boys work. I will show you how I put them on and take them off because that's obviously very important. 
my teeth are nice and clean for you guys. I'm not disrespectful. So they give you this little package, and with this package, they give you one of these. It's just a little handy dandy tool to help you put your elastics on and off. I'll give you a couple of these because as you can see they're very small and they're easy to lose. Let me get closer. So what the elastic actually hooks onto is the hook on your bracket. Your orthodontist will tell you of course which hook they want you to hook your elastic onto. That makes sense. So for me, I'm gonna have a real close and personal. Hey, how you doing? So for me, I have to put my elastic on this back bracket all the way to this bracket. And before there was a huge gap right here, but now it's closed. Now I only have to wear my elastics on the top two. I don't wear elastics on the bottom anymore because my bottom gaps are closed. My top gaps are so close to being closed, but not yet. So what I usually do is I just hook my elastic on from this little tool that they give you, just like this. And I go like this. This is not flattering at all. I go like this, hook it there with my finger and hold it, and then I'll just go like this. And there you go. That one's on. And then I'll take another one. I feel like I feel closer to you guys now that I'm doing this in front of you. And now I just do that again. I'll show you how I put it on. Just like this, hook it on, let go, and this side. Just like that. And I can already like feel the snatch, like the tightness. It makes a big difference, guys. But, which is a good thing, because that means that they're working and they're doing what they're supposed to do. So I guess I'll show you how to take them off also. Okay, so to take your elastics off, I used this side to put it on. But to take them off, you're actually going to flip it and use this side. You see how it's kind of like that little hook there? Well, not hook, it's, what would you call this? This side is more of a hook, whereas this side is more of like, you can, uh, I don't know how to explain it. What is this? A claw. I don't know how to, I don't know how else to explain it. I'm sure there's a better word, but I'm gonna use claw. So you just grab this little claw part and you just kinda have to get your elastic, your rubber band stuck in there and just kinda pick it out to be honest. Like, you just have to pick it out with this part. It's so much easier with a mirror, just saying. Just like that. I'll do the other side. And it just comes out like that. For me, I just had to wear my elastics in a horizontal style, which was cool because I wasn't comfortable really having to wear them vertical, even though who knows, I might have to in a few months because you really don't know. You really don't know what they're gonna tell you. For elastics care, for starters, when it comes to changing out your elastics, it's so important, guys, that you are on it, that you have a good routine. For me, personally, before bed, I after I brush my teeth and everything, I put a fresh pair of elastics on. Once I wake up, I put a fresh pair of elastics on, and then I literally don't take them off. I eat with them, I do everything with them, and then I'll change them out like once I get home from work, so like around six o'clock, I'll take them out and then I'll put another pair on and then before bed I put my bedtime ones on like I'm always switching them out and some people take them out every time they eat 
I can't be bothered with that. It's just too much. It's honestly too much. I don't mind eating with my elastics on, so it doesn't bug me, so I do it. But sometimes they can just get really nasty and food can get trapped in there. So I will change them out after I eat if I feel really gross. But often, I don't change them. And I find that your elastics will loosen up throughout the day. So they won't be as tight in the morning when you put them on as they are at like four o'clock in the afternoon because they're getting loose because they're getting stretched out so i just find the more often that you do change them i feel like it's more effective in a way because it's really keeping that tension that's needed in my case to close my gap there has been a few times, I'm not gonna lie, but there has been a few times where I won't wear my elastics for a few days. It doesn't happen a lot because I've learned my lesson, but then I'll go and put my elastics back on and oh my goodness, the pain. It honestly feels like I'm getting my braces tightened all over again because that tension has been there. I get my braces tightened put my elastics right on. I'm dealing with all that pain at once, but within two days, it's gone. I'm living my life. My teeth have gotten used to it. And then you take the elastics off for a few days. It could even be one day. And then you put it back on, and it's literally that pain all over again. You can't chew, you can't do, you can't, your jaw hurts. It's like, what's going on? I thought, I thought everything was good, but no. It's not worth it guys, just keep your elastics on, stick to a strict routine, and don't take them off. Because once you take them off for a few days, and put them back on, it will hurt a lot, a lot, a lot, a lot. When I first got my elastics put on, and I was closing my gaps, yo, that pain is next level. I mostly felt it like in my jaw, my teeth, like, Yo, my mouth, I keep saying yo, but my mouth was just going through it because of how tight and how much pressure the elastics were. Like you guys have seen how big my gaps were and you guys see how small these elastics are. So that's just like, it's just so much pressure already on top of having braces, period. It's a lot of pressure, it's a lot of pain, but it's worth it. The orthodontist will always tell you, make sure to wear your elastics, wear your elastics, wear your elastics. The more you do wear your elastics, the faster you will speed up your braces journey. And I don't know about you, but I want to get these off. Like, you know, I want to close up these gaps. So that's why I was so dedicated to wearing my elastics because I just knew that the sooner I get these on, the sooner I get my braces off. So what to expect with rubber bands. The first thing you can definitely expect is finding them all over your house, all over your car, just all over, all over the bathroom, in the sink, in my carpet, in my bed, in my purse. They're everywhere guys. They get everywhere. I don't know how. Don't ask me. I do not know how. But they get everywhere. After I get my braces off, I will definitely still be finding elastics for a while because they're literally all over my house. My bathroom especially. Like sometimes you'll take your elastics out and it will go flying and it's just like, oh, well, not seeing that again. They're so tiny. It's gone. It's gone. I suggest always having one of these packs. You can tell them how many you want and they will give you that many. They always ask me, so how many do you want? And I'll be like, three please. Because I keep one in my car, in my purse. If I'm sleeping over at a friend's house, it's in my toiletry bag. There's a few in the bathroom. There's a few just everywhere in my bedroom. It's so important because if you have to switch them out quickly one day, you're ready. If you sleep over at a friend's house unexpected, you're ready. And I suggest keeping one of these in just the pack because they'll give you multiple of these too. They have so many. So I suggest just keeping it in here, closing it up so that nothing falls out and you're good to go. Just pop it in your purse and you'll have it with you in case of anything. For me personally, there is a point 
where I'm like, oh my gosh, this is taking forever. Like, I just want my gaps to close. It's taking too long. I'm gonna double up on elastics. Do not do this, guys. I didn't do it because I went to Google first. I'm like, is doubling up on elastics okay? Should you do this? No, you should not. You should not do this. And it says that you can damage your teeth if you do do it. So guys, please don't double up on elastics. Honestly, the orthodontist tells you what level of tightness you need and that's what they give you because they know your mouth so well. They're the professionals. They know what your gums can handle, what your teeth can handle, and anything more than that can literally damage the roots of your teeth and delay your braces journey. And that's not what we want. That's not what I want. I'm trying to think of what else to tell you about elastics, but I think that's pretty much it. I think I covered everything. If you guys have any questions, of course, you can leave a comment in the comment section below and I will answer and I will respond to you guys. Feel free to subscribe if you want to see more of my content and I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye.